So, hello guys. Today I want to show you my RAM module. It's just one bit. And you can see the address on top, then the data, read or write. And this, in my case, if there's a one, it's read. Then, came, then comes the output, and then the power supply, plus or minus. That's always the same in my in my PCBs, same way of pins. So, and to save one bit, that's the basic RS knowledge. Set and reset and the coup and the output. You, but that's not all. You need some some end level line. In my case, it's called address. I prefer this this name. Then you need a data pin. That's just R and S connected, and and the read write. If you want to output it, or you want to set the reset it. I think these three pins are needed to make a nice RAM. So, now it's in the breadboard, power is on. So, first of all, we need to, we want to read, then we don't need the data, and then the address. As you can see with this LED there, there's nothing stored. And always then, if you finish with read or writing, always from the right to the left. And if you want to read or write, from the left to the right. It's very important. So, that one and this. Now we want to read. Uh, no. Okay, now write. It's zero. Then the data we want to write a one, and then the address. Now from right to right, left, we move them. Now we want to read them. <coughs> we don't need the data. And the address. As you can see, now it's stored with this nice blue LED. And we can toggle it by moving the address line in the power supply <coughs> and if you don't move uh, now from right to left if you start and from left you disconnect it now you write a zero if you now connect it again you want to read it and there's a zero and so you deleted it very fast maybe I will use it in my programming, but I don't know. Now we want to write it again. Now let's read it again. So, there is it. And now with this data pin, there nothing happens because we read, because it's on. Yeah. And that's it bit hot oh, maybe 30 degrees so let's delete it Bing, and nothing is stored so yeah that's it so thank you and see you in the next video